How should our most gifted children be taught? That's the question a group of teachers from Denmark have been asking. They've been visiting Welsh classrooms, finding out how our schools nurture their most talented pupils. Our education correspondent, Colette Hume, has the story. Can we think of any more? Remember the ones that we thought of before? It's an ordinary Tuesday afternoon at Victoria Primary School in Penarth, but these seven-year-old pupils are anything but ordinary. From the moment they arrive at the nursery, the teachers work hard to spot the most able and talented children. Teachers use a wide range of assessment data, data from internal and external tests, as well as um, asking parents their views as well in terms of questionnaires that are sent home annually. So when you've identified a talented and able student, what happens next? Throughout the year, bespoke workshops where children, talented children in particular areas, can work with like-minded children from other primary schools on particular projects. We've used facilities in, in the local comprehensive school. We've had a range of bespoke workshops from Mandarin, Chinese, through to science. Now teachers from Denmark are here to learn from the experiences of teachers and pupils from Wales. They're here because Victoria Primary School is one of 48 Welsh schools recognised by the National Association for Able Children in Education, or NACE, for their work with the most able. Its leaders say stretching the brightest pupils benefits everyone. If you're coping and dealing with the more able pupils and providing for them, then the others see what they're doing and many of them want to do the same. So it's the pull-up theory. It's improving what's going on for every child. The 31 teachers will spend two days looking at the work going on in primary and secondary schools here in Wales before returning to Denmark and using their experiences here in their own classrooms. We see uh, youngsters who are being challenged and we see how the schools have managed to put it into their strategy, uh, talent strategy we would call it, uh, or put it into their ethos and that's how, that's what we hope the Danish teachers will take with them. Here at Victoria Primary School and in classrooms across Wales, the work goes on, nurturing a new generation of the brightest and best. Colette Hume reporting.